It's about 8.30. Rain most of the night. You can see it's not raining right now. There's a big squirrel. You probably can't see him. He's in that bird feeder over there trying to get some of them seeds over there. There's an eagle on the ground. Where the Indian is. If she knew that squirrel was out there, man, she'd be all over that squirrel. I don't see her any place. That's strange. She's not on the over there by the door? No. Seventy two to seventy eight today. Clearing thunderstorms tomorrow. Going to be a little drop in temperature, 57 to 63, giving way to clouds and cooler. Northeast, east, northeast, southwest today. We might get in a spin this afternoon. Tides low around 3.30, 3.15, something like that. Ah, update. Tarzaki, or... However the hell you say it. Supposed to be one of the new fancy heaters on the market. A couple of guys in Florida have them. They like them. Well, my buddy Thomas, who you've seen, but not recently, he had one. And he liked it so much he bought another one. Came in, came in yesterday. So now he's got two of these things. Well, he's bringing one of them over. He's bringing both of them over. I'm going to use one. He's going to use one. So this afternoon, we'll be spinning with a, how it is you say that. Seems like a pretty strong heater, though. PI with pulse induction. I guess that's what it is, with discrimination. I don't know. But we'll know more soon. Well, I'm on my way over to Eddie's to pick up those two hatches that he put the handles in. When I went by the Wawa there where I live, it was 173, which is down from yesterday at 179. And there's a, there's a Wawa on this road right here. This is what they call Military Highway. I just went by another Wawa there. It was 169. Wow. I like it. But I got some really cool gas prices I'll share with you at the end of this thing like I did yesterday from several people the different around the world this time. Well, I tell you, I got the two hatches from Eddie. He put a wooden handle in one, and that wasn't nothing extraordinary for people who work with wood. But you remember the old broken metal handle one? You ain't gonna believe, man. He fixed that thing up. He welded it all back together. Fixed it up, cleaned it up, did some history work on it. Now I'm trying to find the house with the scissors and the kitchen knives. She says she had eight kitchen knives and two pairs of scissors, but she thought she was going to have some knives from her neighbor. So let me stop here and put the address in my GPS thing and I'll uh, get back to you. Well, I got two boxes of knives. I haven't looked at them yet. One's a shoe box. It's got a gang of knives in it, apparently, and the scissors. Then she has her neighbor's knives and a smaller type shoe box. We'll get someplace when we get home, we'll take a look at them. But we're going by another Wawa about 15 miles from where I live. It was 169 at the last one. Let's see what it is at this one. Let's see. 168. So it's a penny cheaper here than it is five miles away. Right across the street, it's at 177. I'm taking that big uh, tree loper back to the guy I picked up yesterday. That with all the nicks and stuff in the blade of it. Well, here's the first box, Hankel Internationals. Seven. Here's the second shoe box. Three pair of Ginger scissors, one shoe. I can't tell what that one is, but it looks like a handle. That's a 
I can't make that one out either. And then there's Henkel's and Heckle International's mixed in this other lot. And, and, look at this taquito. Now this is a big taquito right here. It's not in bad shape. Edgewise, it's just a little dusty from rust, you know. Okay. Supposed to be okay. Looks, looks rough. Look at that. Green. I like green. Most of y'all don't know much about this machine, nor do I, but I'm sure there's some of y'all that may know, may know more about it than me. Thomas brought it over. He's got the other one. He says, it's preset. All I got to do is turn it on and go. This thing is uh, designed by that guy, Tom Dukowski, and him and a guy from an old fisher guy named, I can't pronounce his name. It's kind of an odd name. It's made in California. And it costs around 1,500 smackers time you get the freight. Now you know as much as I know. I got a quarter with me, a nickel, and this ring right here to test it with. Got a gang of people working on this house today. Steps still there. That's a good sign. Looks, looks kind of rough over that way. Thomas, uh, Thomas and I think Eddie are east. They parked down there about a mile from where we are now. And I'm going to work towards them. Ties low in about an hour. I'll get back to you. Well, it looks good. Looks like we got a nice inner slough. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I think Thomas said this thing gives you three sounds. It gives you a, a all metals sound, then a good sound, and then a, another all metal sound. Like I think ping pong was the way he described it to me. They're down that way. You can't see them, of course. Some candy. And I see these three nice holes right here where they've been for the last week. I'm going to give that a sh shot right there after I test this quarter and this nickel. Stand by. Nickel. There's a quarter. I tried to catch early, but it's so hard Nickel comes in at six. Quarter at 25. Gold ring. Plus eight. Okay, so we know what we're looking for. All we gotta do is find it now. I guess this thing's waterproof. We're gonna find out. I don't know where the sensitivity is. I guess I should have asked him that, but I guess he's got it set, so we'll see. Ooh. Okay, stand by. It's always good to have tear leaders when you're metal detecting. Okay. A minus. Minus seventeen twenty two. I know that's no good, but let's see what it is. Just sort of see what seventeen twenty two is. Minus. We got it. Ah, oh, it's a piece of wire. Look at that. 
I like this machine already. Thomas says it's supposed to be super deep. A lot of guys in Florida love it. Minus 25. Minus 21. So we know this is no good. Let's find out what it is. I think I feel it. Minus 24 now with two scoops off of it. Yep, some kind of irony stuff. The way. Our first plus one, I'm gonna get out of there, grass. 1450. 1923. Kind of jumpy. But it's a plus. Went very deep. Oh, looks like a. I don't know. Look what it looks like. Maybe it's some kind of vape thing or something. Jumpy signal. Okay, we're getting into the first part of the first hole. There's a little bar. We're in the hole right here. This is where that first gold ring came from, the one I got on my finger. Got a big minus 30 right there. A calf deep. We got a plus 26, 25. Nope. Minus 24. Let's see what a minus 24 is. It is whole. Yeah, we got it. Went very deep. I don't see nothing. Oh, it fell through. Whatever it was is right there. I doubt we'll be able to get it. The tide's running a hurricane. I'm just curious to see what it is. We already know it's no good. We got it though. It's gonna fall through coming up here. Yeah, it fell through. I figured it would. Okay, the hell with that. Weird. We're in mixed signal. I don't know what that means. Well, I see Thomas. I turned around now. Thomas is this is about where I put in at. Yeah, phenomenal. 
and then a tsunami. Well, we got a minus 30. But then it changes. So 30 plus. And a 25 plus. I got no clue what this could be. One scoop off it reached 28 minus 28. Now it reads 30 plus. Give me both pluses and minuses. Probably a bottle cap. Let's make a deep iron. This is the last scoop. We ain't going no deeper. Now it's a minus 30. But it's more plus than it is minus. It's a plus 18 now with one scoop off of it. Because we got it. Oh, it's a penny. A cruddy penny. Okay. Do they like one another? Do they get along close together? I got eight scoops off of it already. Still reading plus. No minus numbers, all plus numbers. Twelve scoops coming up. Now this ain't got a pinpoint button. Pinpoint button says it's right there. I just ain't gonna be man enough, I don't think, to ever find this one.
25 scoops, that's deep enough for me. I can't get it. Turn the volume up to 15, which is max on the volume. I tried the pinpoint button, that works really good. Weight-wise, it's uh, it's about it might be a shade heavier than the uh, Equinox, maybe. I'm not sure. I know it's all carbon fiber, heavy duty. I give it credit for that. Pretty comfortable. Well, it's more plus than this minus. It's got some both numbers in it. 25 plus is the best of it. Plus 27 seems to be the best of it. Now nah, it's a minus 27, 28. I don't know what this is. If we ever find out. Stand by. That's where the miners came from. Piece oh. of wire. Oh, wire. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean for that to hit your... Uh... Oh, that's a... Look at that, baby. It's beautiful right there, but it's rough looking right there. My opinion. Come on, Tiquitos. Well, I don't see any minus numbers, but all the plus numbers are jumping around.
27 seems to be the best of it. Now. That's nice. Big chunk of crap. I ain't gonna have crap to make the world go round, you know. But it was all pluses. Just a mixed up number. A nice looking deep little slough right right up in front of us about a uh, hundred yards no 50 yards maybe uh oh it falls along Well, we got something, but a lot of minuses. Twenty-eight to thirty plus. Fifteen plus. Now it's got a minus, a little minus in it. Plus 16, 17, 27, high 27. Okay, it says high 21. Solid. Loud. Oh. Corona. Premium. Bowser's. Well, we know it likes ball caps and wire. Minus twenty three. It looks like a good spot, I swear, it just ain't no targets here much. Drives up here, got a nice slew, runs all the way down that way.
Right along in here is where the replenishment started. We're not going but about another 20, 30 feet. We're going to turn around. We can make one sweep now and cover this whole area, you see. I don't know what this one is. It's minus and plus. It's 27 now, plus 27. Plus 15, plus 27. Damn. There's a solid 19 out. Plus 19. Ah, I already see it. Right there. That's why it was giving me so many numbers. Bottle cap number two. God, she was a deep one, though. Ooh, baby. This thing reminds me of that Eric Foster P.I. I had in 2004. I dug aluminum stake 25 scoop deep. I sold it the next day. But it was a so hot little machine. My three-hour beach hunt was five hours. And how to carry extra pouch for the wire and hooks and stuff I found. There's Thomas. See how he's making out. I got two bottle caps. The wire. Tough out here. Yeah. I got pennies. I got that. I still got that one penny. That's the only corn I dug. That one penny. I got pennies. I got aluminum foil. I got uh, a couple pieces of aluminum. I got a bottle cap. Oh yeah, I got one, but it's the same color, but it's got something else on it. But it sounded good. I tell you that. place out. <laughs> I don't know about that. I checked all your holes. 
I'm going to go back up. If you want to come to my house, I'll take you back to your truck if you don't. Look at that thing right there. That's what we need right there. Well, while I was out spinning, Chris got a guy who dropped off some stuff. Two pair of big scissors, one pair of little scissors, one Wistoff Classic, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pocket knives, and uh, five little pocket knives. Great dizzle mugger. Well, I just got home and washed my stuff off. Looks like it was the nick of time. Thomas is right behind me. He's going to come up here. I'm going to take him back to his truck and give him his machine back. I forgot to tell you when I was walking to the beach today, you remember that nice fancy cedar fence they put in there? Well, look what they've done to it now. Well, they stained it to match the color of the garage doors and the trim on the house. But it was a beautiful cedar fence. Now it's a beautiful coated cedar fence. Hmm. Well, that's the best of it. Three caps and a penny, and some nice wire, nails. One never knows what we're going to find. Well, we had a little gully washer. It's over with right now, at least I think it is. Appears to be over, let's put it that way. I'm taking those knives back that I picked up this morning in them two boxes. Well, the temperature's dropped 20 degrees or so. I'm going for a spin number two. The gathering of people go also out in this nasty weather. There's a flock of people right there, like eight. What are you trying to do? He's trying to walk. Well, when I dropped off the box of knives, the lady took them out and gave me five more. Four Heckle Internationals and one Chinese. Okay, it's gas time around the world. Drew in uh, California says it's 245 in San Diego. Dennis Morgan in Australia. 90 cent per liter, which makes it 350 a gallon. Great balls of fire. Mopar Rat is in, uh, oh, that's my buddy George. He's in Massachusetts. It's 149. Okay, it's gas time around the world. Drew in uh, California says it's 245 in San Diego. Dennis Morgan. In Australia, 90 cent per liter, which makes it 350 a gallon. Great balls of fire. Mopar Rat is in, uh, oh, that's my buddy George. He's in Massachusetts. It's 149. 